Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Litz and this is Surgeon Simulator. Now I've never done a day in medical school, not a single day, not even one, but still I've got A-levels and stuff like that, you know, I've got some, I've got some qualifications. So this is something whereby, you know, I know what I'm doing, I think I've got a good idea of it. Now I did a test run earlier and Bob kind of died as you can see there. So I'm going to try this again, but this time I thought I'd bring you guys in. A bit like, you know, when student doctors come around and they all gather around the operating theatre. So let's jump into surgery and join me as I perform heart surgery on Bob. Okay, so the options are here, perform heart transplant. So that's pretty straightforward, I think. Let me just grab this. So this is Bob's rib cage. So to get a rib cage off, the first thing we're going to need is this hammer, right? So we're going to need to get the hammer. Can I pick this up? Ah, there we go. So there's the hammer. Okay, but okay. Oh, I've dropped it on him. Okay, that wasn't me. There you go. Just break a few ribs here and there. To make a cake, you've got to crack a few... Oh, I've dropped it again. To break a cake, you've got to crack a few eggs. You know what I mean? Now, his blood level seems all right for now. I think I'm hitting some organs there. Okay, and we'll just take a few of those out. Okay. No major arteries are being hit here. I know exactly what I'm doing. This is how to properly hold a hammer in surgery as well. So you've got to kind of hold it a bit like a pencil. <laughs> all right, there we go. I think... I think that's good, Bob. You know what? I think... I think this is okay. I'm just going to put the hammer down somewhere I can potentially get it back if I need it later. So, we'll maybe put it, um, maybe put it like here. Yep, yeah, that's good. That's a good spot for the hammer. Um, all right. Now, I need to get these bones out because these are just going to be in the way, right? So, no one needs bones. Oh, this one's stuck. Oh, that's an organ. Oh, it's not. It's bone. Well, fine. Okay. So, we're just going to put this, um, we'll put this over here. There we go, Bob. That's good. And we'll just get some more rib. Ah! All right. I don't know what that is. I don't know what organ that is. But he doesn't need it. I mean, he's still he's still stable. You can see from his vital signs here, he's still perfectly stable. So that is actually good. So let's just bend the hen down there a little bit. Okay. We've got a little bit more bone here. Disgusting. Let's put that in the coffee. We can trick Deborah with that later on. Okay. All these ribs, I think, now are still intact. Oh, that one's not. There's one there, look. Okay, that bit of bone doesn't want to move, so I'm going to need the hammer again. Damn it, I've got some cotton buds here. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even want the cotton buds. There you go. I just need the hammer. Okay, Bob, just got to get the rest of your ribs out. I need you to stop worrying a little bit. Can I just... Oh, that's a lot easier. They are not going anywhere. Ah, got one. So you've just got to hit it precisely. Oh, no, okay, okay, okay. Do you know what? I think sometimes you've just got to, you've just got to mash it in there. Okay, look, you're gonna you're gonna hit a couple of organs every now and again, but that's okay. All good surgeons do that. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna get this last rib from the top here. Okay, I think. Oh, is that still intact? That one at the bottom. I think it is. There you go. Got it. Got it. Okay. So we're not gonna need we're not gonna need the hammer no more. So we'll just put you over there. Okay. Now we need to just move some of these organs out. So this is gonna be one. That is absolutely not needed. So I'm just going to put this... Um, I'll put this by your head, Bob, because, you know, just... It's more like a comfort thing. Okay, it's gone. All right, we'll, we'll, we don't need need that right now. And then we're going to get this one that looks extremely odd. I mean, all I've got to do, I think, is remove the heart. Can't be too hard, right? I don't know what this is. There you go. I'm just going to put that on there because it kind of slips off. Some more more bones and bits over there. you got to get all the bones out of the way. This is all... They're always... It's always a thing in surgery. You know, people having bones. People have too many bones these days. When I was young, no one had bones. I got it. I got it. There you go. Precision. Precision. All right. Here we go. I'm going to put this on here. So we're just putting the organs around your face. And it's more, it's more for comfort for him. Okay. So now I need to take very precisely. Let's just get rid of this cup. Because I just feel this is going to be in the way. Okay. Just put you over put you over there. I don't, we don't need you. Okay. Okay. So now we need to get one of these scalpels. Okay. Here we go. So we just need to make some precision cuts now. Okay. Here we are. So here's the first cut that we're going to go in for up at the top here. Come on. Somewhere up here. There you go. There's the first one. And then the next one is down here, I think. So we're going to cut this down here. Okay. And he's got plenty of blood left. Okay, we just can't make this cut just yet for some reason. It's not allowing us to. But I think we need to I think we need to give this guy an injection. His, his vital signs are now looking low. His blood level is crazy low. 
So let's just get this this needle here. We'll just give him a just give him a quick. There you go, Bob. All right, it's not helping. All right, I'm losing him, Ness. Ness, I am losing him for definite. Oh. Okay, I think he died from syringe to the eye. So it wasn't the surgery, it was more the syringe. That was somebody who put in. Brutal murder achieved in seven seconds. Okay, that was just a practice run. That was a simulation. Okay, okay, okay. So I've got to keep an eye on that loss rate over there. And the blood loss rate at the minute is none, which is perfect. Okay, I've kind of got the hammer stuck in his... In his... <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, baby. All right. Oh my god. Why? No, 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 no. Gently grab. That's it. You stay asleep, Bob. That's fine. There you go. Okay, this this isn't working. This isn't working. Let's try the drill. Let's try the drill instead. And this is how you get rid of bone super fast. You just use a drill. Okay, if you find yourself, you know, experiencing huge blood loss, don't worry. You're not the first. It happens to the best surgeons. And this one up here. Oh no, we dropped the drill, we dropped the drill. Okay, okay, get it back, get it back. We'll just leave the drill over there, it's gonna be safe. Okay, now we need to just get rid of this coffee cup, there we go. Oh, there's a saw there, we could have used that. We got a lot of blood loss going right now. Okay, there you go, Bob. It's not letting me jab Bob, but the blood loss is kinda slowed down now. Which is good, don't worry about the noise of the drill. That's not important right now, so if we just do this. There you go, blood loss rate is now zero. Okay, we'll put that down over there. Uh, the drill, you know what, I'll put the drill over there. Let's put the drill on the floor. Because the noise is kind of making me nervous and you don't need that as a surgeon. There you go, let's get rid of all the bone. Okay, this is kind of shaking so it needs to come out. If any organs inside are shaking, just remove them. Okay, so we're going to use the bone saw instead. Oh, this is miles better. Why didn't they just give me this from the start? Why didn't they just give me this from the start? Okay, we've got a bit of blood loss so we just need to stop that. There you go, Bob. Just give him a quick needle to the face. Always good. So now we have got... Let's put that down gently. Okay, now we should be able to take all these out, right? So let's just get in here. Okay, just needs a little wiggle sometimes. There we go. So we'll just put that over there. Alright, I think that's it. We just needed to kind of coax it out. There we go. There you go. There you go, Bob. Have a lung. If that is a lung... And we're just going to cut up there near the top, right? So that was the first cut last time. Oh, there we go. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay, good. Now, we've still got a tiny bit of blood loss, which to me says we need to do the injection again. So let's just get... Let's just see if we can get this. Here we go, Bob. There you go. You've still got a bit of blood loss. I can't stop the rest. But for now, that's going to have to do. How do I even get this? Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Tubes and bones, Bob. Tubes and bones. There you go. Here we go. I don't know what this organ is, Bob, but there you go. Ugh, that is disgusting. Okay, so now I just need to cut the heart out, right? First thing they teach you in medical school is picking up a scalpel. Right, okay. I don't know why them fingers are up. I'm pressing the buttons to... No! Oh, no, I dropped the scalpel. Oh, no, that is... That is... That is cutting into him. Okay, I can't pick up the... <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm just gonna have to do the surgery, like, super fast with another scalpel. Yes, I got one. And then I need to do the other one just a little bit higher up. Okay, this can't be too hard. This can't be that difficult. Okay, the heart's kind of bleeding a little. Oh my god, I dropped another scalpel. <gasps> I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Okay, good. So now we get the heart. Oh my god, that took some picking up. Okay, so here's the heart then. So what, I just flip this open? There you go, come on, get open. Ah. Okay, there's the old heart. And this is a new heart then, okay? So I need to put the new heart inside him. Okay, get the new heart in. Okay, here we go, here we go. And there you go, surgery complete. Looks fine to me, I'm sure he'll live. So that took 12 minutes. So the first one took seven, this one took 12. But guys, I know some of you have been wondering about how to do surgery, how to do heart surgery. So that is it, and I'm here to teach. I'm as much a teacher as what I am an entertainer, and that's that's the way that I want to push the channel forward. <laughs> All right, guys, massive thanks for watching. If you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are one of the troops, a massive, genuine thank you to you, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care now, guys.